Hey everyone, Greenbeard here. Welcome back to an ML another MLB 9 Innings 23 video on my channel. Today we're going to work on the Ken Giles SIG that we pulled in our last video. But before we get into that, um, as you can see it's double mileage. I'm recording this uh, all at different times. So we are going to do a couple things for double mileage and then we'll get into the meat of the video. And we've got the mileage SIG on the Phillies team here. So let's pull it. Uh, we don't have enough my uh, SIGs for a SIG combo because we pulled that Victorino last time. But this should give us the ability to do a mileage uh, SIG combo with the next normal SIG that we pull. Oh man, that is a really good card. It's a really, really good card for a Red Sox deck. Unfortunately, we are not a Red Sox deck, so um, we will combo him away. But... Yeah, that's a really great card for uh for a Red Sox deck. So, um, next time we pull a normal Sig, we'll be able to do a Sig combo, and we'll do a couple of vintage combos for double mileage here, including a diamond vintage combo. We'll do these three. Mike Schmidt, that's nice. Can we pull Mike Schmidt and Diamond now? No. Okay, that's all right. Um, we'll hold on to that Schmidt, though, because down the line, if we SIG change him, we'll use him as upgrade material. All right, so, um, this is the train I got on Giles. It's just a random train. Um, it's not a bad train, but it's not something I'm going to keep. So, we are going to just throw some random stat amps into him. Kind of just whatever, you know. And then that way we can work on special training him. And the goal will be to get him special trained up today. And then we will, in a later portion of the video, to probably take him Black Diamond and go from there. This is being recorded immediately after the first part of the video where we pulled him. So, we don't have any player cards to use right now, so we're just going to see how far we can get him <laughs> with the material we have, and we've, we've already got him up to level 7 with just gold special training material. Um, we might not even need to dig into the diamonds, we don't, and we max him out to level 8. When we get him the black diamond, we'll need to get him the extra couple levels, but... At the very least, we got him a random train first so that we can get him special trained up. So, um, yeah. All right, so here we are a few days later, and we now have enough black diamond pieces to take Giles' black diamond. So we'll take him BD. We'll use the um, premium that we have on him. If we land something, awesome. We would have to wait for... Um, greens and blues to work with it but we would have it and then either way we'll use regular skill change tickets to see if we can get him a really good set to put him in the lineup in the meanwhile all right and we will use the special train material we have on him to cap out his special training and then it's just a matter of getting skills and finishing him up uh skill wise and then we'll be able to slot him right into the lineup Get those out of the way, and then we'll use the rest of, um, we'll use material for the rest. There we go. And Giles is done. And we finally used up all our gold special train material and cracked into the stash of diamond special train material we have. So, good news is, Giles is done. Now we can go and use the 15 premiums we have. Oh, I didn't realize we had two greens, so we'll use those greens should we land something on Giles. Would love to see a good level bullpen day set, ideally. All right, so nothing from the first two. 
right, let's, come on, let's see something. Even if we don't see a legend skill, I would love it if we could get a good set just through the regular, through the premium anyway. Um, it would make my life easier. We don't have to use normal skill change tickets in that scenario. But, you know, I think we probably used up all our luck with uh, pulling a skill set on Harper. So, you know, that, you know, not the, not the end of the world or anything like that. So, there's one. Uh, pitchers chem dom we'll hold on to it but we already have pitchers chem and we're not going to use him as our pitchers chem guy so we'll go pull that one more premium all right so we have nine more shots we did see one which is nice but again we already have pitchers chem and putting it on a sig isn't going to do anything for us so we'll keep rolling Let's roll over the other set. Why not? There's one. Pitcher's insight. Great. Um, so, can't complain. We did see two today. But uh, they were probably the two. Them and slow starter would be the three that mean absolutely nothing to this card. So, of course, you know, that's the two we saw. But that's okay. Giant Crusher Fixer, now four more. A lot of Giant Crusher today. Three more shots. Mess Iron Will, now in the last two. Fixer Finesse Setup Man, we'll take that. And one more shot. Nothing, okay. Alright, so that's actually not a terrible set. Fixer Finesse Setup Man, but Setup Man isn't going to be great as a fixer, uh, as a middle reliever, because middle relievers are usually in for multiple innings. However, we'll hold on to it. We'll roll over Pitcher's Chem, because like I said, don't need Pitcher's Chem. And my hope here is that we can land something that can be used in um, in setup. Seeing Fixer Boss. Um, I think Fixer Finesse is better than Fixer Boss. It's obviously easier to land... Um, easier to land a set for middle relief because you just get fixer whereas you need like perfect combination of skills for setup man which is sort of why my setup men are struggling I think it's why we need to get start getting um legend skills on my relief pitchers but we just have not had luck, luck pulling good legend skills um you know we, we pulled two today which was good but it was um you know, two useless ones, so um, that's unfortunate, but that's why we'll roll these normal skill change tickets. It's a triple three with both. I I don't think it's worth rolling greens on that because I want to get him a legend skill, so we're going to roll past it. Triple three fixer touch. Again, I'm going to roll past it. We we just need setup men. We don't need more good middle relievers is the problem. Fool's gold if I've ever seen it. Alright, so I might uh, speed through the rest of these. And um, I'll see you when we pull something worth talking about.
So, finesse setup man boss. That might actually work pretty well as a setup man set. Finesse boss is good, and then it the only difference between this Giles and the Giles we currently have is that we're replacing um, mess with setup man. So I'm actually happy with that. So we're going to take this, we're going to go and train Giles for finesse, and um, then we'll level up the skill set and replace our current Giles. Alrighty, I'll be back once we have a train. Okay, so here's the train we got on Giles. It's not a great train, but as you can see, I'm, I'm at the end of my resources. It's the best we could do. Every time we got a high location velocity train, it came with either high stamina or high fastball. But with this train, even though it's more fastball than I'd like, we will be able to get him to hit the finesse bonus if we go three to look or three to break, and breaking ball has the tiebreaker, and of the then so it'll be eleven velocity, eleven fastball, eleven break. Velocity is number one, break would go number two. And so velocity will be number two in special train and we'll go six to location and that should get him the finesse bonus. So, let's go two of these. One, and two, and then we'll go three to break. And if my calculations are correct, he should hit the fin bonus, and he does. He's at plus 16 to finesse. All right, so his train is done for now. I absolutely am going to go back and retrain him um, when we have more resources to do so. I would like to get a little bit better of a train, specifically because he is going to hit, you can see, he already hits S-tier pitches now, not even in the lineup, let alone plus an additional what, 20 to both fastball and break, so he can, he is a card that can afford to have lower fastball and break because he only has two pitches and because his uh, base level stats are so high. So we swap him in here, he's sitting at 126. Look at those stats, that's pretty nasty. That's pretty nasty. For comparison, we can compare him to, oh, I don't want to swap them, I just want to compare Giles and Neris here. So, they're in similar boats, except Giles has higher fastball and break, which is why I wanted a low stamina, low fastball and break train, but couldn't get it. So once we do, we'll be able to get him higher location and velocity. And then to comp our two setup men, Holland is obviously in down condition right now, um, but he's in an interesting situation where to get him Finn, we had to go... Um, location one break two so um giles is the best team reliever and at some point we will get him a train that is indicative of that but for now with that set he should help me lock down that second setup roll and then we can roll the co-op set that blake parker has and see if we can use that as a um fixer set uh and we're gonna save that 122.4 overall. Um, let's make sure we load that into our other lineups. We'll go battle lineup. Club battle is currently going on. And uh, so that should set us for everything but club, which I'll have to do later. But that gives uh, brings pitcher up to 123. And so the only thing we really have to do with our pitching staff now, outside of getting legend skills, is going to be taking Suarez and Garcia, Black Diamond, and then a couple retrains, and otherwise it's just about skills. The cards are in place, it's just a matter of getting skills now, and um, we'll be on our way. So uh, I think they're the only other thing... I'm going to want to do today is with those two greens, we're going to roll on Nola's slow starter set, and we'll see if we can 
land something a little bit better. I'm going to roll off of touch because touch would only work if we got fin. So um, I want to get a uh, legit one skill first. Put away pitch is not it. All right. So we didn't get anything. That's okay. Um, we didn't have any blues anyway. So that'll be a work in progress for us. Um, otherwise, I think that'll be it for this video. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.